Thalassemia major by Pranay and Sujay Chodhra. American pediatrician Cooley and Lee discovered the disease in 1925 and named it Cooley's anemia because the symptoms were very similar to that of anemia. The word thalassemia comes from the Greek word thalassa which means sea and new Latin word emia which means blood. It was coined as, the, as Mediterranean anemia because it was first described by the people of Mediterranean ethnicities namely Greek and Italian. Anemia is of two types, major and minor. Major is incurable genetic disorder. Patients suffering from thalassemia major experience severe anemia when they are eight or nine months old. Whereas thalassemia minor people lead a normal life. It is caused due to deficiency of hemoglobin in red blood cells. When two individuals carrying defective genes mate, there is one in a four chances of their children suffering from thalassemia major. Usually defective genes are seen as disadvantageous so they are bred out of the population. However, studies have shown that people with heterozygous beta thalassemia are immune to malaria as well as coronary heart diseases, which is one of the reasons it still persists in the population. People suffering from thalassemia major often face poor appetite, which leads to pale and listless appearance. Dark urine is the result of breaking down of red blood cells that occur in thalassemic patients. Stunted growth is also a very common symptom seen in them. Bone problems occurs due to the expansion of bone marrow which weakens and changes the shape of bones. Cheek bones usually get depressed whereas frontal bones protrude. The spleen is the organ that fights with infection as well as removal of base material, but the spleen in a thalassemic patient works harder than usual, which results in its enlargement. Therefore, it needs to be removed, which makes a person prone to infection. Infection is the second most common cause of death in thalassemic patients. Since it is an inherited disease, prevention is not possible. However, prenatal tests can detect it before birth. Also. If anyone who is the carrier, carrier of thalassemia and thinking to have a child should consult a doctor who can determine the risk of passing this trait to their children. Thalassemia patients usual, usually have to go through blood transfusion two to four times in a month. Blood transfusion provides thalassemia patients with red blood cells. Once the red blood cell is broken down, the body is left with the excess iron. Removal of this excess iron requires oral medication, which is quite expensive. If the excess iron is not removed from the body, it can damage liver, spleen, heart, and the endocrine organs. It can even lead to death due to organ failure. Desferal, Kelfer, and Dexirose are the most commonly used drugs for the removal of excess iron from the body. A normal middle class family in India can hardly afford such an expensive drug for a longer period of time. Gene therapy is the most effective treatment against thalassemia patients. Altering the genes can lead to a long term solution for thalassemia major. For the people of a country such as India, where GDP per capita is around 1500 US dollars, fighting thalassemia is very very expensive. If the blood used in the transfusion is infected, then it leads to HIV or hepatitis B. As explained earlier, iron deposition can lead to organ failure, but the worst situation occurs when the body starts to develop antibodies against the red blood cells. Until 1980s, the life expectancy rate of thalassemia patients was typically till the puberty. However, with the advancements in drugs and comprehensive care have increased significantly. Some patients now make it beyond 40. Thalassemia major patient can get married and have children as well. One of the most common genetic disorder in the world. In Malaysia, around 1 in 20 people is the carrier of thalassemia. In America, 0 to 5% of the population has a thalassemia trait. Up to 40% may be the carrier. In Eastern Mediterranean, 0 to 2% of the population has a thalassemia trait. Up to 60% may be the carrier. 50% of the carriers are in the Southeast Asian countries. Around 300,000 to 400,000 babies are affected by thalassemia every year.
Around 30 to 35 million carriers live in India. Currently, 10,000 thalassemic major children are born every year. Some of the high risk communities in India are Sindhis, Punjabis, Gujaratis, and Muslim. There are several organizations helping thalassemic major patients both economically and mentally. Some of the organizations are in India, Red Cross Society helps around 60 patients every year to cope up with the thalassemia. Various non-profit organizations are working relentlessly to help these children. Sometimes, even a gesture as simple as blood donation can help them in this noble cause. Spreading awareness about thalassemia major can help curb it to some extent. Also, by donating money to non-profit or profit organizations working on thalassemia can help help them serve the children fly higher. Remember, as John Bunyan said, you have not lived until today, until you have done something for someone who can never repay you. Thank you.